Chazal tell us that every single day there's a baskel that goes out from, from Shemayim and it says, Shuvu banim shevavim, return my children who are fablonjid, who are lost. And the Baal Shem Tevez, the Moir de Kikasha, Baal Shem Tevez, I don't understand. If there's a baskel that's going out every day, then why don't we hear it? And if we don't hear it, then why does it go out? Isn't that great? If it goes out every single day, why don't we hear it? And if we don't hear it, then why is it necessary for it to go out? What's the purpose of this baskol that goes out every day? And the Baal Shem Tov answers beautifully. This baskol is what awakens us to have here Hurei Tshuva. That we, from time to time, we get an awakening. I want to be better. I want to be closer. I feel bad. We think about our spiritual matziv, our spiritual situation, which if you think about it, what else is there to really think about during life? Everybody knows that at the end of life, all the other problems and all the other physical and other needs are gone. So a lot of people go through life without thinking about the only thing that's really important, which is why we were put down here, which is our spiritual matziv, our spiritual situation. So sometimes a person goes ahead and he gets this awakening. That's because internally we have a spiritual antenna and it's hearing that baskal that comes out every day, Shuvu Banam Shevavim, come back. Hello, Chayim, Moishi, Yanki, Chani, Rivki, come back. And then at times, we're, when, when it's not, we're not full of dirt and, and the antenna's clean, and of course the more clean we are, the more sensitive we are to hearing it, and the more dirty, dirtier we are, the more we need to hear it, and the more we need to focus on trying to hear it, but it's there. It's, it's that feeling that we get, I want to be better. And it, it, it arri- arrives and arises in our, in our essence. That comes from the Basco. We have to grab and hold on to this awakening. And according to this, we could understand what it says in Sefer Oyev Yisrael, from the Aptaruf. There was a baskal, Chazal tell us, that says, Everybody can come back, whoever's lost and confused, come back, except for one person, Rameir's Rebbe, who was known as Acher, we call him Acher. So yes, I don't understand. Why would it say, come back, except for Acher, we know, ain't davar oimid b'fnei tshuva. There's nothing that can come back before tshuva. Nothing, nothing stops tshuva. So what does it mean everybody can come back? Millions of Jews can come back except one guy. What do you mean except? Nothing stops tshuva. And we know that the Ratzon Hashem is labal yidach mimenu nidach. We know that it's Ratzon Hashem that no Jew should be left behind. That the one who was cast away, pushed away, should not be cast away. He should come back. So he explains, I'll tell you what it means. The Hisairus that we have comes from a basco that Hashem gives us a little push. We need a little help. So Hashem sends out these messages. Come back, come back, come back, Avi. And that is what, what helps us get awakened. And that opens us, opens up before us the Shari Tshuva. That's what it says, Chutz Me'acher. Acher sins so much, so badly, that he has to do it on his own. That was his punishment. But if he were to go on his own and be ma'ayr himself to do tshuva, even this one Jew that is the worst Jew in the world, that Hashem says, even though I call out to every Jew to come back and that awakens him, I'm not giving him that spiritual awakening, even him. Even him. If he on his own said, but I, but I want to come back, of course he's welcome back. Repenting, tshuva, returning is not mugbal, is not in a boundary. Why does he bring this down? Because some people think, I am so bad, Hashem doesn't want me. There's no such thing. And he brought one case of one Jew that was denied the Isarusa de la'ela, the help from Hashem which was a very rare case. Everybody else is always getting that awakening from Hashem as well. And even in that case of such a horrible person that Hashem says, I'm not giving him that spiritual awakening, but if he would come back on his own and he knocks on the door, Tati, let me home. Of course, 
When a child knocks on the door, Tati, I want to come home, every father lets him home. Of course. And that's very important for us to know. There's nothing that we can do that can stop us from re- repenting. And Baruch Hashem, we are all Zaycha, we're not like Acher, we're all Zaycha to have that and we have to tap into it. And we, when we have it, we have to grab onto it, grab onto that Asiris. That Asiris that we feel certain times during Rosh Hashanah or during Yom Kippur, Hashem Walikim, by, by, or by Kaisal, whoever we are, when we have a clear antenna, we have to just try to keep that feeling alive and realize that's the Emes. That's who we are, and this is the reality. And, and if we don't feel it, we should live our lives on, on the autopilot of what we felt when we were clear not on the autopilot of what we feel when we're confused and, and it's covered and we're going through a hard time.